Hello YouTube, my name is Anthony. Um, I, I do light mobile DJ work for, and my name of our company is Mobile uh, DJ Solutions. Today is September 3rd, 2009. Today's a beautiful Thursday. Uh, nice and cloudy here in Cookville, Tennessee. Uh, what I'm doing today is I've come to give you a little bit of a, a review on the laptop that, that we use and a little bit of info about the audio system we use. Now, this setup that I'm going to describe today is good for the person who just believes in having an awesome uh, home music experience or for the person who goes out here and does small little gatherings, uh, little small benefits, uh, backyard parties, whatever, which is what I do a lot of, and this suits me very well. Uh, and I'll go over the specs to a light degree and a little bit about what software I'm using and a little bit about the system and kind of do this as quick as possible in my 10 minutes allowed by YouTube here. Alright, first of all, this is an HP HDX16 uh, premium system and it's got that platinum finish that they're, that's their look on this particular model. Um, with this it has a full size keyboard and the keyboard is awesome. Uh, full keyboard and when I say that I mean I have a number pad as well. I also I opted for the uh, biometric fingerprint reader which is really handy once you get all your passwords and all that stuff keyed into the system after that you're golden. All you have to do is like when you boot your computer up instead of typing in that stupid password just scan your fingerprint. You can scan any finger you want. Um, you can do as many of them as you want except for your thumbs. Um, I opted for that and it did, this did come with an NVIDIA 512 megabyte dedicated not a shared video card built into the system so I can play some killer games on this thing. I've actually got a, a Logitech game controller hooked up to this thing where I play my racing game on here. Uh, awesome. Uh, I play Spore on this thing. Uh, no problems at all. Um, and I played it at high performance too so and to do that on a laptop blew my mind. Uh, it's amazing how far laptops have come. Uh, I'm running Dropix on here, which is my LightScribe software. It's on here, of course. It's got DVD burner, CD burner, uh, all that garbage. Um, I opted for the HP wireless mouse. It matches the laptop. I'm sure they eat me up a lamp. But uh, this machine has four USB ports total, one HDMI output, uh, of course, an Ethernet port, and it's got a uh, PCI card slot on here if you wish to use it for that. But this one came with a uh, a remote here and uh, it works with iTunes you don't have to use media player you don't have to use the HP media smart software that comes with a machine with this remote uh, I was kind of uh, weary of that at first but this remote works just fine with iTunes as well what I like about this remote is I can scroll through my songs I can be chilling in my bed here and be thumping and find the songs, change my volume, skip tracks, whatever I want to do with this little remote the distance on this remote is about 20 feet. Um, that's about what I've been getting with it, which is pretty awesome. Um, the computer has a 500 gig hard drive, which is sufficient to hold my music and my videos and stuff with. Uh, of course, I have a backup drive too that's a, that hooks up to this with a little Seagate. It fits in my little dock that I've got right here. Um, really nice system. I mean, very awesome. Uh, and something else too for a laptop this thing's got a 1100 megahertz front side bus uh, really that's that's really good the 500 gig hard drive is awesome I've got six gigs of RAM on a laptop uh, that my, I, I, now I did pay a little more to upgrade it from the four which they give you to the six I don't know how much more but a little bit more and I did go with a, a laptop killer to the bomb because when I go do events I run this thing for a long time but that that's the basics of the laptop um, and for those of you out there who's going to spend this kind of money in something, uh, I opted for the, what they call the invisible shield to be put on here. Uh, Zag sells it. If you go to www.zagzagg.com, uh, they got what they call invisible shields for several devices out there, and I I praise them. I've got it on all my iPods. I've got it on my laptop. Um, great stuff. The reason I like it is if I ever decide to sell this machine, which I will, when my warranties get close to running out, uh, I always buy the newer machine that's out. And if this machine looks a little scuffed up or whatever on this film, I just peel the film off and it looks like it's brand new. Uh, it keeps the main thing from getting scuffed up and scratched and you can't see it. Um, it's great. 
a little aggravating to put on, but in tedious, but it looks really good. This machine weighs about eight pounds with the battery in it. Uh, not real, real light, but um, it's not that big a deal. Um, I'm a big boy, and I think I can handle packing this around over my shoulder in my bag. Um, and that's something else to consider too on these is for me anyway it has two headphone ports not just the one like many of them out there and a microphone port of course it has a webcam which is kind of standard on about everything nowadays but the difference between this webcam on this machine and other laptops I've had this webcam is amazing on this thing uh, I used it for a long time doing videos and I'm just I could not believe the quality that come off this webcam and it's got two little microphones up here which is you know a little better than most do so overall a spectacular machine uh, I couldn't I can't imagine I want more in a PC um, I looked at a Mac before buying this and a Mac with the same comparable features is going to be thirty five hundred dollars between the laptop the sound system I've got and my software I've got let's see fourteen I've been spent two fifty on the extended warranty with accidental coverage I spent seven hundred dollars on an audio system and I spent $300 on my virtual DJ software, which I used to do my mixes and stuff with, and crossfading, and some other software that I bought. And I come out under $2,400 for everything. So I come out uh, $1,300, dollars $1,500 cheaper than Apple was wanting just for their basic, just for the machine, not including any speaker or anything. Um, so I was really tickled with that. That gave me some money to sink into uh, buying some music. Now, I'm about to run out of time. Next thing we're going to talk about is the, the JVC audio system I'm running. I'm running the HXD77 audio system with that supports USB audio hosting, which is plugged up right here into my laptop. Um, this thing pushes 600 watts digital. Um, the quality is exceptional, and I'll go into why the sound is so much better on this as opposed to other things I've used. Uh, besides the features, features alone. Uh, you got sound turbo, I got surround sound modes, and I've got sound mode. I can control the subwoofer volume or increase it but lowering the sub or uh, lowering it. Uh, also, I can do DVD audio in this thing if I want to do it up to five of them. Um, and besides that, the, the main thing to keep in mind here is the speakers. That is the heart and soul of music. Uh, most systems that I've seen have one huge sub, and that's fine, but four subs and four tweeters is even better. Uh, that's one reason the system costs me so much. Um, it, but it sounds awesome and the sound is clear. It's crisp. The trebles are good. The mids are good. The highs are high. The bass is not distorted. I can get the volume up on this thing and it goes from zero up to 40 on the volume. And no problems at all. So and no bass is it distorted at all? It sounds extremely well. And I'll try to give you a heads up on the speakers look for this video time runs out. That's what the speakers look like. You got two tweeters on each speaker and two big subs and two ports. Absolutely amazing. Um, you can't beat it. And for the money, yeah, seven hundred dollars. But it sounds great. And I'll try to give you an idea of what's, what the computer looks like here for those of you who are considering buying a new laptop. Those of you who do a mobile DJ. Keep in mind, the more memory, the better. Can't have enough. I, four gigs, I say minimum. I know a lot of DJs, mobile DJs are doing it on two gigs, and that's fine if you're on XP, but uh, if you're running Vista, uh, you need to thump it up a bit. Um, here's what the system looks like. This fits perfect in those people who's got the desk with the uh, tower holders for desktop computers. Uh, that thing fits right in it. If you can tell how it's designed, they kind of thought that through, and it fits just perfect. Uh, and it plays by every format you can think possible. AVI, DivX, uh, MP3 obviously, standard audio, AAC, it does everything. It's a beautiful machine. Something else to keep in mind, they, was a, they did a good job with keeping the uh, amplifier tucked inside the unit where it ain't sticking out real bad and it's got lots of cooling. But this is a great system. I highly recommend it. Uh, and we'll sum this up. I'm Anthony. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to hit me up at DJSolutions at charter.net.